Hey, welcome back. This is Sean, Discount TV and Computer Repair out of Oklahoma. Now, the purpose of this video now is actually going to be a little tweak with your Windows XP operating system and desktop or laptop. And this applies mainly to Windows XP. Uh, Windows Vista 7 and soon to be Windows 8, uh, you will not have to worry about this. And this is concerning uh, slow uh, download speeds um, when in fact you may be paying for a higher uh, download internet speed but you're not getting anywhere near it. So you might find this video tutorial uh, very helpful, at least I hope so. Uh, before I do that, I just want to bring your attention to something here. I'm, I'm looking at the YouTube and um, to read up about, we're actually having a promotion right now. To read up about it, um, to get to uh, to get to our channel, you simply type in uh, Tulsa uh, TV and PC repair. Tulsa TV and PC repair. If you're in the Tulsa area, we are running a promotion right now, and you might find this um, hopefully uh, quite useful and uh, cost saving. So you can go ahead and click search, and you can find us down here. I'm just going to click on also TV and PC repair. That'll bring up the channel. Okay, there's the main channel. Now all I'm going to show you here is on the left hand side, if you scroll down, on the left hand side you'll see the uh, list of requests that uh, I'm looking for right now. Um, computer repair, workstation repair, so on and so forth. Uh, promotion mainly has to do with um, uh, documentation such as this. Uh, uh, online uh, video promotions and uh, if you'd be willing to let us to come to your place of business or home office or so on and so forth um, we can take a look at your problem get you fixed up and uh, no charge as long as you uh, are in agreement of letting us document this uh, and uh, also by the way uh, your information and so on and so forth will be kept uh, confidential and uh, and private unless you authorize otherwise. Okay, having said that, you can take a quick look here. If you Google not getting the download speed you're paying for, you'll find things all over the net. Uh, there's one right here getting 380 kilo kilobits per second download speed but paying for 8 meg. We're talking about eight, 8 megabits per second. And you'll find that all over the net. Here's what you're going to do. And the reason for that, by the way, is because Windows XP is not configured or designed by default to handle these high download speeds that are being offered by ISPs nowadays. Up to 12, 20 megabits per second or more. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to go to dslreports.com okay and click on I know it says tools right here but you really don't need that if you just go to dslreports.com okay it'll bring it up the page will look just like this and what you're gonna do is click on tools Okay, then you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for Dr. TCP and it's right there. Click go. We're going to download the executable file and I'm going to download it to the desktop. I'm going to click on save and make sure desktop is up here or documents or your briefcase wherever you're, you wherever you know it's going to end up where you can go and, and retrieve it later that's the main point 
So we're going to go ahead and click on uh, Save. And it doesn't take that long. And I'm going to close this out. It's on the desktop now. And we'll use it. We'll use it. I'm sorry. In the in just a little bit here. Okay. So now we're going to scroll back up and either click on Tools or your browser back button. I'm going to click on Tools. Okay, now we're scrolling down to Tweak Test. You want to click on Go. Just click once. And it's going to explain to you right here that this, this little tweak here and this, this is a very useful tool um, for uh, tweaking your uh, TCP stack um, and it'll explain to you what, it, what things it will fix and one, what things it will not fix. It will fix slow download speeds if you're paying for high speed and not getting it. You'll notice a marked improvement immediately following a reboot. Um, it'll fix if your download speed is actually slower than your upload speed you've got some problems. This will fix it. Um, and so on and so forth. Now, what we're going to do is scroll down. And by the way, you have to have Java installed to use this tool. And if you don't, you can simply Google Java um, and uh, install the Java. If, if you need any help with that, uh, feel free to send an email and uh, be happy to walk you through it. So go ahead and click Start. And this may take a minute, depending on your speed, connection speed. It shouldn't be too bad, though. You just sometimes you need to be patient. If you're, if you are in fact having a slower, a lot slower download speed than what you're paying for. And there it goes. And what I'm waiting for is the results tab to highlight, so that I can click on it. And there it goes. You click on results. Here's where you got to pay attention now. Up near the top, under service. Okay, I'm going to select DSL. In this case, it's DSL. Now, this part is tricky, and if you have any problems, again, send an email with your question or your ISP uh, download speed. And this is a good point, by the way. If you're not sure what your download speed is that you're paying for, your download connection speed, call your ISP, call your service provider and ask them. Give them your account number, so on and so forth, and find out what you're paying for for download speed. You need to know that. Now, if you're if you're a little confused as to how what to enter here, uh, just um, just send us an email and uh, be happy to help you out with that. Okay. Now, in this example, um, uh, we are there, the customer here is paying 1.5 um, megabits per second. The ISP um, talks about download speed in terms of megabits. Well, they're asking for ki uh, kilobits here. So all you're going to do is you're going to take whatever answer they give you and uh, add three decimal places onto it, three zeros. So in this case, I'm going to enter in 1500. 1500 kilobits per second is the same as 1.5 megabits per second. The operating system is Windows XP. Connection, stick with normal, and click on recommend. Okay, it might be a good idea to either print this page out or, or minimize it. But the main thing you want to look at is the receive window. 15,000. Okay, and also, let's see, we'll look at here. Right down in the bottom here, notes and recommendations, change MTU to 1500. You see that? Okay, our win is in range. That's because I've already tweaked it. Okay, and uh, I think I, what I did is change the MTU to 1500 uh, just so I could show you something here uh, as far as a recommendation uh, would make any sense if it said both of them are in change and no recommendations <laughs> uh, so that would be pointless so anyways 
what we're going to do is minimize this screen. We're going to go back to the desktop. We're going to click on Dr. TCP. Double click. Click on Run. Now here's where we pay attention. Up near the top is your top receive window. That is, let me pull this up again here. That is what they're talking about right here. 15,000, the receive window. Okay, so the TCP receive window, you want to read 15,000. The MTU, we're going to enter right here and make sure that says 1500. Okay. If you scroll down back to the page, it told you right here, change MTU to 1500. That's where they're talking about, is right over here in the lower right hand corner. This makes for a very easy tool to tweak, to tweak this, and you don't have to do it manually. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on Save. You're going to click OK. You're going to click Exit. And at this point, you can go ahead and just right click on that icon, click Delete, and send it to the recycle bin. You don't need it again. Now at this point, you're going to just reboot your computer. And once you do, open up Internet Explorer, go to your favorite web page that has been coming up slow, and I think you'll be in for quite a surprise. I hope you enjoyed that, and God bless.